What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Samba Tech once again, and today I wanted to show you guys a new game called Rogue Company. I've streamed it twice now over on twitch.tv slash blindrod, and I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to come watch live. I'm live every day, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I've really been enjoying this game. Uh, what it is essentially is a CSGO-like game, so think bomb plant, bomb defend, that sort of gameplay style. You go to best out of 12 or first to seven essentially, and then that determines the winner. It's teams of four instead of higher number teams like teams of six, so it's a little bit smaller as far as that goes, but no worries, the time to kill is longer. A couple other differences from something like Valorant is going to be that it is in third person. Now, I say like Valorant because it's probably closer to Valorant than it is to CSGO because it is a class-based game. At the beginning of the match, you'll select one of the characters that you want to play, and they have different abilities as well as different guns and different uh, grenade options, so tactical and lethal grenade options. My two favorite characters are Dima for attacking and Saint for defending. And the reason for that is because Dima has a really nice push ability that has an area of effect grenade that you can shoot with his ability that will push people off points and really get a nice push in to let your team go ahead and take a point. Now Saint on the other hand for defense is really great because one of his tactical grenades or his tactical grenade in general is a claymore which is obviously just good for defense in general. You can kind of block one of your lanes off while you sit in the back. And then of course he has a revive. It's a remote revive. You can revive anybody in the game. The thing that makes Saint special in particular is that his revive will work remotely. Now each of these abilities can only be used once per round. And like I say before, you go to seven rounds to win. You need seven rounds to win. And I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. So. Take a look, let me know what your favorite character down below is, if you've already been playing, and I hope to see you in the company. See you later. How's your Saturday going, Mr. Booyah? All right, we played this map. They'd say. All targets eliminated. <laughs> I got the kill. Defense, stand your ground. Um, do we stick with Dima or do we go Saint? I think we go Saint since there's only three of us so far. Save the day, get paid, right? Save the day, get paid, right? Enemies planted the bomb. Deploying utility. Stop them. Save the day, get paid, right? What are we at? 19 limbs? Hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Five to three right now. We gotta win two more. They gotta win four more. Twenty three of limbs. Found the bomb. Lethal. 
I bought the wrong gun. Son of a bitch, I bought the wrong gun. down. He's low, he's low, he's running. Bombs active. Don't let them disarm it. Woo! Suck it. Double kill. We've armed the bomb. Defend it. Need help. Woo! Two wins in a row. Things are looking up now. It's different. I mean, what's nice is it's familiar yet different, if that makes sense. <sighs> All targets eliminated. Great work. I really like okay. this game, but it, like everybody, I, so get it. the channel's really been built like. Well, this has been a very quick game, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure playing with y'all. <laughs> I bet y'all a uh, good last jump together. You know, it's been an honor. I hope my uh, parachute pulls out this one last time. Behind us. things But think of it like a uh, third person Valorant with a longer time to kill. And then you pretty much got an idea of what it is. All enemies have been eliminated. And so, this is usually my build for Dima. So round one, I usually get the EMP or the throwing axe. It depends on if they have a saint or not. So really, like, the EMP is fine, but it's not that great. Like, it only works really well against saint, who we were talking about with the self-revive, because you can basically just shut his self-revive off. Um, so if he gets down from a distance by like your sniper or something you can toss that and kind of shut him down You can also shut down his ability when you down somebody else so that you can't revive him Yeah. 
Oops, I EMP'd myself. Good game. Halfway through. All enemies have been eliminated. All targets eliminated. Great work. GG guys. Woo! Nice work, all. Proud to be 